Hello everybody, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are. I am Gideon Butler-Smith, I am a Baker Influencer, and welcome to a Wisdom Wednesday, where we share bits and pieces of wisdom about the baking industry. Today we are going to discuss all things hamburger bun production to get ready for the live seminar happening on Bakerpedia March 24th, which you can sign up for right now in the description. Spring is in the air here in Arkansas and I cannot wait to start cooking out for friends and family all spring and summer long. But no cookout is complete without the hamburger bun. All right, not true, but just play along with me for transition purposes. The hamburger bun took off at the speed that quick service restaurants took off, which is fast. So that demand translates to the need for an increase in supply, and that's where you bakers come in. In 2022, it's no longer just make as many buns as fast as you can, but there are new challenges such as diet trends, ingredient shortages, and consumer awareness, as in the consumer is becoming more aware of what they are consuming. Bakers have been designing hamburger buns that are soft, indulgent, clean label, keto friendly, healthier, and premium to just name a few. And each of these characteristics has their own place in the marketplace. And from a generic white bun to whole wheat varieties to pretzel buns, specs on all can vary, but generally buns can be found in three to five inches in diameter and 1.5 to two inches in height. Sponge and dough is arguably the best quality dough system to make buns out of, but much of today's demand can't rely on the time restraints that this system has. And bakers turn to straight dough methods and dough conditioners to build in extra tolerance, whether for mixing, proofing, or shelf life, and a myriad of other reasons. Now, the perfect duo for the perfect buns is a high quality divider and the correct size pan. The weight of each dough piece needs to have a tight tolerance so it does not vary very much, and the pan needs to be suited for the chosen weight per the dough to pan ratio. I'm actually gonna spark a conversation right here in the comments. Is there a formula for pan to dough ratio? Or is it testing and trial by error? Once you find what you like for one pan, then you can try the gram or ounce per cubic inch or centimeter, which would give you a constant to go off of to calculate the rest of your varieties and pans. So consistency with weight and pans is key. All right, next tip high gluten forming protein quantity flours, okay, you with me, are ideal for high speed bun lines. A lower gluten forming protein quantity aged flour would need a longer fermentation process for proper hydration, which could lead to a bottleneck in the high speed process. So now is a good time to remind you that I'm getting most of this information and material from my day-to-day -day experience from a high-speed bun line, but also from a Baker paper, Hamburger Bun Production, which can be found on our Baker Academy site through bakerpedia.com. The last key to hamburger bun production is an accurate thermal profile of your oven, making sure yeast kill is less than 50% of the time and targeting an arrival of over 20% of the time will also help set the structure properly. We have plenty of resources on thermal profiling as well at bakerpedia.com. Now I would be remiss if I did not also point out that the Baker paper that I'm getting this information from and the live seminar happening March 24th will be sponsored by Top Taste. They are a leading brand which is changing the taste profile of baked goods everywhere. So I hope you took something out of today's Wisdom Wednesday. Ask any and all questions below and do not forget to sign up for the live seminar happening 
March 24th on Hamburger Bun Production. And while you're at it, go ahead and register for a Baker Certified course on Bread and Bun Production so that you can become an expert in your field. Thanks for watching and happy baking.